It's lights out and away we go. Pretty even start from the front two. Verstappen does move over to cut off Lewis Hamilton. That gets a raw approval. It is one, two, three. Hamilton in second. Verstappen leads Bottas third. And round the first corner we go. The two Ferraris might be swapping places as Carlos Sainz comes under a bit of pressure as well from his teammate Charles Leclerc. Round the banking now. And that's the Alpine pass there. Antonio Giovinazzi and Fernando Alonso. Esteban Ocon has lost places. But it's a dream start for Max Verstappen as Giovinazzi gets on the grass and has to get his elbows out. Oh, that was a very simple off the line for the front two, but there's so much action now from turn three, turn four, turn five, and through the sweeping right-hander into turn three. Really exciting with the Ferraris down low, trying a different line. I tell you what, Fernando almost got collected by George Russell before he took that high line as well. Uh, we're on board with Antonio Giovinazzi now, who lost places on that opening lap as he sees the Alpine coming right into his field and we had to take a step back from our monitor there did he touch there a little bit yeah. and uh, every lap in practice they've done the high line and then suddenly in the race they've decided that the low line is the better line in comes lewis hamilton uh, for his first stop of the race and i say first stop of the race because i don't expect those medium tires to go between now and the end of 72 laps Max is going to react. That's yeah. all he has to do today, just cover Lewis. I was going to ask the question, do they cover Lewis Hamilton and respond? Yeah. And that's exactly what Red Bull are doing. And if you think Mercedes' pit box is tight, well, it's even tighter for Max Verstappen. But in he comes, 3.6 seconds, Lewis Hamilton was stationary. 2.7 seconds, Max Verstappen was stationary. So this is the race win for Verstappen or, or for Hamilton, or is it for Bottas? If he's going longer on a one-stop, do Mercedes think that could be the best way to run this race now? I'll tell you what, Max Verstappen has caught Valtteri Bottas at a good time here. He ran wide through the uh, the entry to the chicane there, which would have put him on the back foot. And look how close, look how close Max is now. Yeah. This is his opportunity. But look how close Lewis is as well. Valtteri has done a sterling job here to try and hold up Max Verstappen. He's not going to hold him up any longer because with DRS, there he goes. And you can hear the roar uh, from the Dutch Lions in the grandstands, but you can also see the marvels that are being flicked up into the air when he went offline. Now, going offline is Valtteri Bottas to let Lewis Hamilton through. And the upshot of the last five or so laps is a three and a half second advantage for Max Verstappen over Lewis Hamilton is now down to just seven tenths. Look at the marvels that are being flicked up in yep. Lewis's face from Max in front on the inside line. Lewis Hamilton let by and passed his teammate a lot easier than Max Verstappen had found it. I rather get the feeling we had a, a Fettel spinner. Oh, he's gone for the inside, lost the rear, but uh, was able to collect it up. Oh, that's that Bottas. That was just Bottas. Him. Well, that's going to take uh, that's going to take a bit of time uh, off uh, Valtteri Bottas's charge towards Verstappen and Hamilton. He lost about 1.5 seconds, one and a half seconds in that first sector because he was the car having to take evasive action. Jeff to Perez, one second. Let's try and hold him up. Yeah, let's go, Daniel. Let's go. You're going to hold Perez up here. And this is Daniel Ricciardo uh, being told to hold up Sergio Perez, but hold on, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his mojo back today, isn't he? Fantastic. Gap at 3.8. 3.8. Is he completing about something or what? I think his tyres are done. Perez on the outside of Turn 1, braving it around the outside. Normally the quicker line to get a good exit, but he's behind. They're on the very fifth. Oh, a couple of bits of contact there. I, I tell you what, I wanted to see that replay run on a bit more because I think there was a harder hit, wasn't there? As we cut the way to this particular shot, we, we might just see it again. There, there's Lando Norris trying to push him wide and that was wheel to wheel. They're, they're robust if you hit them in the right places, these cars. You could hear the wheel spin. Yeah, that was a big lift of the, the tyre and suspension. Valtteri, it's James. Please abort the fastest lap attempt for the end of the lap. Right, so he's gone purple, purple. Fastest first sector, fastest middle sector uh, for Valtteri Bottas. And he might just be slowing down a bit as he crosses the line. Yeah. He did slow down. He did abort the, the, the fastest lap attempt. He still got the fastest <laughs> lap, though. Oh, no. I need that extra point, guys. Copy, we're on it. 
the pressure's on because there is that extra point up for grabs. Imagine what happens now. If Max Verstappen makes a small error now, and Mercedes think, oh no, we've thrown away the, the race win, but they've also caused a little bit of friction within the team itself. Last weekend, he won at Spa in the country of his birth. This weekend in Holland, he is going to win as a Dutch driver, a Dutch national, and it is double Dutch delight for Max Verstappen, who crosses the line to win the Dutch Grand Prix. Tiesto waves the flag, turn up to the max, listen to that roar. Fantastic, isn't it? What an atmosphere. And, you know, if you're here and you're watching and you don't support, Max, it doesn't matter. This is such an amazing atmosphere. This is Formula One. The crucial thing for Hamilton is, it, can he get the fastest lap of the race on the last lap of the race? And he does. So he wins that extra point for the fastest lap on a day where he and Mercedes were second best to Max Verstappen and Red Bull. So that is a really, really mature drive. Oh, what a presence here, fans. Race win. Well done, mate. That was epic. That was epic. You've won your home race. You were brilliant today. Enjoy this lap and enjoy the podium. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Amazing strategy. You were really, really sharp today. And uh, <laughs> nice pushing 72 laps here. I love it. <laughs> Great job, guys. They've come here for a festival and a celebration. Uh, so he drapes himself in the flag of the Netherlands. Have a listen to that. What a triple header this is. The washout at Spa and the, the race that never was. The sunshine and the celebrations for Max Verstappen here at Zandvoort. And who knows what Monza will bring us. The one thing we can say, it'll be another fast and frenetic race.